Lightroom Classic 15.1 just added a simple yet extremely powerful new feature, which is the ability to create new image edits using the PSB file format, otherwise known as Photoshop Large Document. What's so powerful about this file format is that it works just like a TIFF in its ability to store all your layers and work non-destructively, but there is no limit on the file size. A TIFF cannot store a nearly eight gigabyte image. It's limited to only four gigs. So this image, which is from my focus stacking course, if I were to open it up, it contains multiple different raw edits like this image here, but just different versions stacked for different focal distances in the image. And collectively that creates a pretty large image that in the PSPF file format, I can save everything and work completely non-destructively to change it at any time. Whereas if I were to save this instead as a TIFF, I'd have to start flattening layers. Or as another example, in my recent Smart Objects course, all my original raw Smart Objects are in this image. I can go back to the original raw and edit everything. And because I'm able to save with an unlimited file size, I never give up that ability to work non-destructively. So this PSB file format comes in handy for so many different things. You could make prints of any size, work with Hasselblad cameras. This is an incredibly powerful file format and definitely the one you should be using. Now we've had the ability to view these images in Lightroom for quite a while. What's actually new in this release is when you right click on an image, such as this raw file here, and choose edit in, and you go to edit in Photoshop or open as a smart object. In the past, you could only choose TIFF or a PSD file. Now you can choose to edit using the PSB file format. So to set that up, we want to go into the preferences for Lightroom, go to the external editing tab, and it's the file format option here. In this, you'll see that we've always had TIFF and PSD. What's new here is PSB. If you choose TIFF, you get to save all your layers up to a four gigabyte limit. So an image like this is kind of right at the limit here. This image with all the raw smart objects, it may or may not save as a TIFF. I would definitely have to enable compression to save it, which means a slow file save. And if I add even one more layer, I'd probably below that limit, in which case I would then have to do new save as PSB, import it to Lightroom, go back, find the TIFF and delete it. It becomes a real hassle. So I would avoid TIFF because you're limited to four gigabytes in file size. The next option is even worse. PSD is limited to two gigabytes, so half the size of a TIFF. You don't want to use this. This new option, PSB, this is so powerful because there's effectively no limit to your image. When you choose PSB, you're getting an image that works just like the other file formats. We can save all the layers, work totally non-destructively. The advantage is you will never run into a limit for your file size. I mean, there is technically a limit, which is 300,000 pixels on one edge or four exabytes of data. Putting that in other terms, you could save a billion TIFFs in the size limits here, or you can make an image larger than the size of your house. You're never gonna run into a problem with PSB. This is definitely the way to go. So choose PSB. And with this one option, now, anytime you create a new image, such as by going right-clicking and choosing edit in and choosing the options here, you'll be creating a PSB and you'll know that you'll be able to save all your layers and work totally non-destructively. In addition, the file sizes we have here, now that they're unlimited, it gives us one more option. For those of you with enough storage space, you can create much faster file saves. For example, this image here at eight gigs could be a pretty slow save. It might take a full minute to save this on your machine, but the reason for that is not because the image is physically large in terms of gigabytes, it's because the compression takes a very long time to run. So in Photoshop, we can change a setting that will make this image roughly twice the size it is. So it would jump up to more like 15 gigs, but if you're willing to take a trade-off like that, you'll be able to save it up to 20 times faster. So instead of saving this image in say like one minute, it'll save more in like three seconds. So jumping over to Photoshop, all we have to do is go into the settings. You're gonna go down to the file handling section. And in file handling, there's this one option which says disable compression of PSD and PSB files. When you turn this on, it will not compress the image. And the result is that your PSB file will be twice the size, but it'll save more like 10 to 20 times faster. The other option here, which you probably already have, is this maximize file compatibility. You do want to leave this on. If you don't choose the compatibility option, then you won't see a preview of your PSB in Lightroom. So if you have the storage space for your occasional large edits, I would turn this off. You'll be able to save much, much faster. Otherwise, if you care about keeping things smaller, 
leave this off and it'll just take the same time it takes to save a TIFF for your PSB files and you just won't get the speed benefit. I should also note that when you disable compression here, you'll be making your smart object safe faster as well. So there's some nice benefits to using this if you have free space to spare. Now to learn more about working with Lightroom, click to this next video.